What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. So this past weekend, I turned 21. Ooh, I know, I know. But before I kind of get into that, I just wanted to say thank you guys. You know, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing the channel, and um, I will reward that support with a major equipment upgrade here pretty soon. So the videos are going to look a little different. They're going to hopefully look a lot better. So I appreciate you guys, and uh, I hope you like the, some of the new content that I'm going to be planning. But back to the actual content and meat and potatoes of this video. On Saturday, I was able to head down to Canton, Ohio, which for those of you who don't know, that's where the Pro Football Hall of Fame is at. And I honestly, I love the experience there. It was, it was amazing. You know, if you're a football nerd just like myself, I would highly recommend it. Um, lots of historical stuff, lots of pictures. I mean, I think half of my phone storage is just pictures that I took at the Hall of Fame. I won't absolutely bombard you guys with the slideshow right here, but I will show you guys just a few cool things that I saw. And, you know, while I was down there, I had to hit up the gift shop and spend my whole paycheck on this Seahawks helmet. I think it's really cool. I mean, shit, I don't need food or water or to pay my gas bill or, you know, car payment. I don't need none of that. I, could, I got the helmet. So that was Saturday. And then the magnum opus of this trip was on Sunday. I went, drove from Canton to Cincinnati for the Bengals and Seahawks game on Sunday morning. Um, honestly, I was, I was hyped. I was so hyped. I mean, this was going to be a really good-ass game. I just knew it in my bones, right? And getting to the stadium, you know, you could just tell right away that those Bengals fans, they're legit. I, I, got, I got to hand it up to the Bengals fans. They were legit. They were one of the most passionate, loud, aggressive fan bases I've seen. Um, and I, I don't think they get enough credit. I, I really don't. I mean, I think they were, they were pretty awesome, to be honest. And uh, I was able to make my way down the field to catch a lot of the pregame warm-ups. I got some good videos of Jamal Adams, Pete Carroll, Geno warming up, Kenneth Walker, all my favorite guys. I was able to be like 15, 20 yards away from them, which was like actually really, really cool, to be honest. But then as the warm-ups ended, me and my mom found our way up to our seats, and we were able to catch some of the pregame festivities from like the announcers and the PA people. And not gonna lie, this shit was pretty lit. From LSU, number nine. So now it was kickoff and the game was starting, and honestly, it could not have started better for the Seahawks. They drove right down the field and punched it in for a touchdown on the first drive of the game. Little did I know, though, that would be their only touchdown of the game, so not great. But the Bengals answered immediately with another touchdown of themselves, got the ball back, and then scored another touchdown. So at this point, I'm freaking out, right? I'm thinking, oh my god, this is going to be a murder. I just, you know, I'm witnessing a public execution here. What am I doing at this game? But... I really got to hand it to the Seahawks defense. They strapped the fuck up after that drive. In the first quarter, the Bengals had 14 points, and they ended with 17. So if that doesn't tell you how well the Seahawks adjusted and started playing the Bengals offense, I don't know what does. They actually looked really, really good for 40-plus minutes of that game. To hold Joe Burrow in Cincinnati under, like, 20 points, that's typically a recipe for success. Uh, the problem was, is that the Seahawks kind of burnt the cake because they couldn't score on offense. They just couldn't do it. There was a multitude of problems. Uh, first of all, being the offensive line, it, it was bad. It was, it was really bad. Uh, Geno made a few mistakes, and, you know, that just kind of snowballed into being unable to get back into the end zone. But with how well the defense was playing, the Seahawks definitely had a chance at the end of that game. They had a fourth and goal with about two minutes left in the game to take the lead, to punch it in, and they didn't get it. They didn't get it, but it's okay because they got an immediate stop on defense. The Bengals punted them the ball back. They drove down the field, and then on fourth and eight with about 37 seconds left. They, they, also, they also didn't get that one either. They, they didn't. Um, heartbreaking heartbreaking you know but i won't let it take away from the experience it was a super super fun game and i had so much fun uh would have had a little bit more fun at the seahawks one obviously but you know you can't complain can't complain it was so much fun um i definitely want to head back to more seahawks games um but you know shit's expensive obviously right but yeah i just want to hit you guys with a little birthday game day something vlog um hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you did i would really appreciate it 
And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.